You're Sullivan, right? So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? Piper's done this before? All the time. Thing is, sometimes she's bluffing, and sometimes there really is a group of 50 raiders just over the hill screaming for blood. So I usually just let her in. Not this time, though. Mayor's on the warpath. Anyway, welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. Kiddo, how are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Nah, uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. Now I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Free paper to newcomers. If the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, mister? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, mister. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look, dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? Why is that important? I'm here now, aren't I? I told you, this is a perspective piece. People in Diamond City need to know you're from a different world than them. So, what was the vault like? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, 
They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? The war? Which war? The one that gave us this lovely landscape of demolished buildings and nuclear radiation every ten feet? You're telling me you saw everything before they blasted it into pieces? Behold, I am immortal. You know, I guess you kind of are, aren't you? Oh my god. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Can you even compare the two? The world out here? It's not even close to the one I left. Feeling a little homesick, are we? Can't say I blame you. Now, the big question. You came all this way looking for someone. Who is it? I lost family, okay? I'm trying to get one of them back. What's their name, Blue? Who are they? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. As heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? The Institute? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people, sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least, that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's gonna take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is gonna give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back? Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that, or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. Sure, let's go. Will do.
Huh, hard to believe I'm roaming with my own pre-war relic. the difference. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Around here, we call your haircut the scav special. It's a little flex of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trip. Uh, sorry, Blue. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Yeah, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. Sure, let's get to it. Just sit in the chair. We got hairstyles for days, weeks even. Facial reconstructive services. Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Yeah, take a look at me, Doc. What's feeling off today? What can you tell me? I've been laying off chems and booze lately. Glad to hear it. Anything else? Too much radiation. I feel sick. Blood pooling in the gums. Done. Now, was there anything else bothering you? Hurting all over, Doc. Scrapes and bruises. But it's probably a good idea to get them fixed up. All done. Any other complaints? No, we're done. Take better care of yourself in the future, okay?
This better be an emergency. Prescriptions, Bill. High quality Kim's right here. You look like you need a prescription pill. Something to settle your nerves, let you chill. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All the chems you need to fill out your lifestyle. Balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some Mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. Looking for a job. If you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking Rad X or Rad Away. Sweeten the deal with some money, and I might be interested. You strong arming me? That ain't cool. Hunter caps, that's all you get. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. Hey, Solomon. Gotta pick me up if you're feeling glum. Let's see what you have. Check it out. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. Yes? Don't let the stress of life kill you. Relax with some cams. Diamond City Surplus, everything you need. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? No, I'm Jangles, the moon monkey. That's just what a synth would do, ducking the question. We don't serve your kind here. Perfection for sale. Hand-tooled pieces. Hey, Myrna. I said we don't serve your kind here, you synth. Trying to tell me you're human now? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough. But I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. What kind of business you run in here, anyway? We buy and sell anything and everything. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day. The robot takes care of customers at night. Only one I trust to do it. Least I know he's a machine. Let's see what you have. Everything you need. No skull in the league. Stand a swat. New guy, am I right? The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. I've got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to... Gun dealers. Not right now. All right. If you're hungry, you can grab a quick bite of power noodles. Just talk to the robot. Officer? Where it is? Something bad went down in the old Museum of Witchcraft up near Salem. Why would anyone even go there? They'd abandon forever. So thirsty. <clears throat> Dr. You there! Can't drink liquor you need no a more. genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swap. 
What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium. And two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats. And, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Oh, really? What kind of teams were there? There was the Diamond City Demolishers. Big brutes of guys. Uh, played in full power armor with special pneumatic arms, you know, for swinging. Then you had the Lexington Ladies. An all-female team with Coach Bloody Mary Sue at the helm. Highest kill count in the league! I could spend all day talking about the Concord Crushers oh, or the Quincy Killmeisters, but you get the idea. It was a hell of a sport. Sounds like fun. Bet your socks it was. Now, how about you pick up a little memento in the form of a genuine swatter? Not today. Stop crowding my stall, then. Oh, hey, Mo. Wow. Trying to take some time off over here. Oh, oh wait, son. Bottom. Hi there. Uh, hi. Hey, Mo. I'm done working for you. Get lost. I'm not looking to make friends. Beat it. Never thought a reporter could consider themselves a success. Leave the wall? What are you, nuts? You wouldn't last an hour out there. I'll take it. My chances on this side of the green garden. Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other. The faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. Newcomer, huh? Talk hey, to Abbott just at let the me wall know. if you want a history lesson. Piper. Something you need? I just wanted to check in, make sure things were all right between us. I guess I'm still on the fence. Show me you want to make lives better out here. Then we'll talk. Sure. Let's go. Will do. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever.
His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. Wait, who are you? You the detective? Me? No, I'm Nick's secretary. Handle his appointments, his papers, that sort of thing. Well, that's what I used to do anyway, but now Nick's disappeared and I can't keep a detective agency open without a detective. Nicky's missing. <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please hurry.